are going to be opening up a package that I ordered. It's a tie-dye kit because I got super duper inspired by a fellow YouTuber, Mariah Elizabeth. She did this huge video where she tie-dyed a whole bunch of things and I just got really inspired. So I ordered a tie-dye kit and I ordered some fun stuff to tie-dye, which hasn't come yet, but the kit has come and I wanted to open this on camera. So yeah, let's do this. So it's got a very wide variety of colors as you can see. We got pink, fuchsia, red, coral, orange, yellow, lime, green, teal, turquoise, blue, purple, violet, which this kind of looks just like a, you need to be a darker pink, but whatever, and black. So we got lots of fun colors to work with. And this is how come I had to order this from Oriental Trading, um, because the I wanted to get a kit with more colors than just like your basic set and all the other stores that I checked online um, that had this, it was already sold out because apparently everyone else watched um, that same YouTuber or other YouTubers have been tie-dyeing stuff and I have just been oblivious to it. So anyway, so let's just break this open so I can show you guys all the fun stuff. Another reason why I chose this particular kit is it doesn't have too much extra stuff other than the dyes, um, which is good. Okay, we've got a little kit here with some fun ideas. And some fun inspiration. that I ordered to tie-dye is like this like tunic dress thing. It's like got stitching on it and stuff and I just think it would be cool to do like that kind of striped tie-dye but do it like those 70s like the 70s like stripes that like move like they're like I am really poorly explaining this but they're like stripes but they they're in like a wave shape, if that makes sense. Like that's the vision that I have. I don't know what colors I'm gonna do it in just yet, but that's the idea. That's the plan. Okay, so this manual. Ooh, do they show you how to make that? Cause that looks pretty cool. Okay, so here we have one of the items that I ordered specifically to tie-dye. So, we're gonna open it up and see which one it is. I ordered three different kinds of items. Um, two of them are just like one item, and then the other, then the third one is like a pack of a couple of items. I don't wanna give away what the items are just yet because you're gonna watch me open them. So, it'll be like a fun surprise. And, oh, these are the socks that I ordered, I think. Yep, spandex and cotton. This is definitely the socks. And a little nook. Yeah, these are the socks. They look a lot bigger than I 
thought they would be. Which I'm a little nervous about because I'm scared they're gonna be too loose on my teeny legs. But I feel like they're gonna be good on like this area because that part's bigger. And usually when I get like long socks, it's really tight there. So. Don't know if I want to take it out of its like protective like packaging because I want it to stay nice till it's time to tie dye it. But yeah, I'm gonna open it. I love these little sock hanger things because you can use them to hold other things sometimes too. But anyway. Oh, it's got little grips on the side of it. Weird. I guess that's how it stays up on your thighs. I've never owned like socks this long before. Socks, socks, let down your toes. See, that's how long they are. I, I don't think I can, they're just barely all in frame. That's interesting that it's got those grips. Yeah, so I can't wait to tie-dye these. And I might actually go ahead and tie-dye these later today because I, the tie-dye bug has been like nipping at me. And it's just like, I want to tie-dye, but I also don't want to tie-dye the stuff that I have that I could potentially tie-dye because I want to make sure that I have all the colors that I want to tie-dye the items with that I bought specifically for tie-dyeing, so yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna roll these up for now and we will tie-dye these later. Okay, so I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and tie this up the way I want it. I'm not necessarily gonna meddle with dye just yet because I wanna do that outside and while it is a nice day, I wanna eat for I go play die and stuff. So, I reviewed um, what colors I want to put on this. And there are four different colors that I want to like put on these. So I'm going to need to divide each stock into four sections. And I've got my rubber bands here. And I don't know if I got enough here. Oh yeah, this is more than enough. So, yeah. my camera's about to die so I will bid you guys adieu for now. Okay so we got our very nice gloves, we've got our dye, we've got our tarp down and we're all set to start dyeing things so let's do this. Thoroughly mixed. 
So I think I'm gonna leave this part right here plain white because that would be an awful lot of dye to dye all of that. So I'm just gonna leave that white and then color it all the rest. And I might just use gloves because they're just kind of annoying. Let's see. So let's do this. Yeah, I cannot get this off. These gloves on. Okay, so there are like 
four here, and there are three rows. Four is twelve. By order twelve, please. Why is there so much packaging on these? It's like they're headbands, but I don't think they're gonna get damaged too much in shipping. Unless somebody like stabs them. Ooh, these are really small. They only had one size, but they only had one size on the website, so I, it's not like I chose too big of a size or anything. That's a sticker on it that says 04 or 40, maybe it's, I don't know. We're gonna put that there for now. But yeah, it's like this bed sheet like material and it's got all this fun stitching on it. And I thought it would be fun to like tie dye it and give it like a total 70s vibe. So yeah. And I'm probably gonna style this with like probably these actual thin jeans and this shirt underneath it. Guess it is see through and I can't wear this by itself. Otherwise someone is going to be very upset with me. <laughs> And I definitely have to wear a belt with it because it is huge. I mean, I've probably fit in this like twice. So, yeah. There's a purple fuzzy wuzzy on this. Where did that come from? But yeah, it looks really pretty. I can't wait to tie-dye it and style it for you guys. And I'll see you guys in But I don't know if I want to risk, you know, going out, setting everything up, and then just getting pulled on, and then running it on top. So, yeah. I might just plan out what I'm going to do with this, plan out what I'm going to do with one of these headbands, and then it's going to be like tomorrow or the day after. So I'll see you guys then. Bye! One last thing before I go ahead and like plan out what I'm going to do with this, I want to give you guys a quick look at what it actually looks like on me. So you can see that this is actually really, really big on me, but it's big enough that it looks like I meant for it to be big. Like it's big enough that it looks like 
an oversized t-shirt dress kind of vibe and not like I'm wearing something that doesn't fit me kind of vibe. Like it drapes itself enough that it looks like it could hypothetically be my size, if that makes sense. Like if I hold it like this, you can't tell that it's like three times my size. <laughs> And I guess you could like pin it like on the side here if you wanted a more fitted thing. Anyway. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what it looks like on me before I go playing with it. Because I do want to do like before and after shots with some of these pieces. I forgot to do it with the socks, but I want to show you guys like how I would style it and stuff. So it's like three videos in one. It's an unboxing, it's DIY, and it's like a style video too. So yeah, I'll see you guys whenever I head out this. And then... Okay, so we're all tied up. I'm ready to start dyeing these. So I'm just going to select the colors and then the dye and then we'll go to work. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, we got our dye. Just needs to be shook up a bit. Then we're gonna start applying it to this little headband here. Like when you 
first put them on, but once you let it seep in, they all have these little subtle things that make them different. No, please don't fly in my face. Thank you. It's like ever so slightly this thing is deeper than that. Like that thing is like rose pink, like I said. This one is more of a reddish pink and this one's like neon.
throat. Um, <laughs> but what I ended up doing is after I rinsed um, the items in the clip you just saw. Whoa, my hair is like <laughs> all over the place. Uh -huh. Anyway, after I rinsed them, I um, went ahead and rinsed them again, this time with hot water. Just because it would, it made me feel better to rinse it with hot water so it didn't bleed anymore. That way I knew it wouldn't like bleed in the dryer. So I did that and then after I was thoroughly convinced it would not bleed in the dryer, I put them all in the dryer and the next clips you're going to see are how I styled them and the items, yeah. So I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it's the next day and everything went well in the dryer as far as I could tell. Nothing bled in the dryer, which thank goodness. Um, and this is the tunic dress as you may have already guessed and this is how I styled it and I'm gonna tell you guys like how I styled it and stuff. And yeah, so this tunic dress, um, really turned out really cute. I really like it. Um, it's got a lot of fun, like, hues and colors. And, like, it just looks so cool. I especially like how, where it's just, like, stitching here. The color really just, like, stuck to the stitching. And then the sheer part right here is just, like, kind of got, like, a blue tinge. I thought that was very interesting and cool. Um, And I kind of like how it's kind of splotchy on the like macrame lace edge here. That's just so cool. And I like how there is like little parts where it's just like white. It's mostly just on the bottom where it's like white, but there's a little bit like, like I already said on the sheer part up top. Okay, and as far, am I zoomed in? I feel like I'm zoomed in. No, I'm not. I'm just way too close to this camera. That's the problem. Okay, so. Let me back up a little bit for you guys. Okay, so basically how I paired this was, I noticed when I first put it on that it was really sheer. So I paired it with this V-neck white crop top. Just so you know, nothing. So you can't see anything that you seen, and there are two bees in dog face right over there. Anyway, um, so then to bring the tunic dress thing in a little more, I have this braided belt just because we noted earlier that it was so big. So this makes it look a lot more less casual and more like something you could wear out and about. Like for meeting up with friends or something. Okay, can you? You can't see the lower half of me, so. Okay. And then lower down, I just paired them with some light wash jeans. These are actually high waisted, by the way. Um, and these, I, I don't know if these are Birkenstocks. I'm fairly certain they're Birkenstocks. I know they're the style of Birkenstocks, but I don't know if they're like, you know, the name brand of Birkenstocks. But yeah. But they had the same like colors on them in their floral pattern as the tunic, so I thought they would look really cute with it. And it would also fit with like the springtime like vibe I was going for. So yeah. So there's these.
Yeah, so I really think this turned out really cool. Um, I really like the fact that I took a bold move and didn't go with just like the basic thing that people tie-dye when they go for a tie to tie-dye a t-shirt. Like when people go with, to tie-dye a shirt, they usually go with like basic like Hanes white t-shirt. And I was like, no, I want to take a bold leap, go with something that already is like a beautiful piece on its own, but it'll be even better when we add a lot of color to it. So yeah, I think that taking such a huge risk like that um, really made the piece come out nice and beautiful. And I'm just gonna stop talking now and let you guys take it all in. them with this beautiful red sparkly gold sparkly um, blouse I guess you would call it it's got like lace and it's like layered and it really looks cute and I'm also and I paired that with this red and gold layered skirt which I actually got in the little kids section and actually I think it's a sport yeah it's a sport um, so that gives so they're both like red with gold, but it's different shades. So that it has a nice, a nice like ruffle feel to it. Yeah. So I thought that was really cute. And the reason why I paired it with this is because it has the socks have like this flame detailing right here. So that made me think of these two pieces. And also it kind of gives it like a fun little superhero vibe because like you know they have those tights and then they have like little skirts or at least like some of those superheroes from like DC superhero girls or something like that anyway so yeah I just paired the socks with those and then these cute little heels just to give it kind of like a cute like date night kind of outfit feel And last but not least, we have the headband that I tie-dyed. And the outfit that I paired it with. Um, as you can see, the headband turned out really nice. It's got like these like lines in between colors, which I really like. And I was getting kind of like a 70s, 80s kind of vibe from it. So why is this so loose? I paired this with this red jacket blazer thing and this yellow gathered dress with polka dots and stripes and stuff. And then I paired those with some navy blue tights and my little ballet flats. Yeah, kind of a really cute overall look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me unboxing. None of them actually came in boxes except for the tie-dye kit. Unboxing the tie-dye kit, opening the stuff that I was tie-dyeing, and then tie-dyeing the stuff with me, and then 
um, showing how I would style it. If you guys liked this kind of like three kinds of videos in one concept and you want to see me do it again, then I'm still in the mood to tie dye. I mean, I still have those headbands that I could tie dye, and I've also been looking at some other like white cotton items on like some other websites other than walmart.com. Um, like I was on, um, I think it was Urban Outfitters? No, no, it was Old Navy. I was on oldnavy.com the other day and I saw a couple of really cute like workout things and I think it would be really cute to have like a tie-dye like workout clothes. So maybe that'll, if you guys enjoy this and it gets a good amount of views, maybe that'll be what I do next. But I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to have a crud ton of footage to edit. So I'll see you guys next time.